Sodo, wa ma'al abzi, kulang wa naksan. Welcome, I am Tejur Abzi, nice to meet you. In this lesson, you will learn how to introduce yourself in Somali language. Without further ado, let's begin. Assalamu alaikum, maga'iga wa abdi, barasho wa naksan. Assalamu alaikum, maga'iga wa abdi, barasho wa naksan. Now you try. Start with the greeting which all Muslim people use, which is Assalamu alaikum, which means peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Then say Maga'iga, which means my name. Maga'iga. And then add Wa, which means is. Assalamu alaikum, Maga'iga Wa. And followed by your name. Maybe your name is Abdi. Say Assalamu alaikum, Maga'iga wa Abdi. And finally, add Barasho wa Naksan, which means nice to meet you. Or we sometimes say Kulan wa Naksan. So now you can introduce yourself to someone who is Somali and say Assalamu alaikum, Maga'iga wa Abdi, Barasho wa Naksan. Or Assalamu alaikum, Maga'iga wa Abdi, followed by your name. Now, if you say to someone, Assalamu alaikum, maga'igawa, flowed by your name, and you say, Barashawan accent. In Somali, as culturally, we always ask, What's yours? And it's just, Maga'a, which means, What's your name? So we say, Assalamu alaikum, maga'igawa, abdi, Barashawan accent, Maga'a, which is, What's your name? Now, I will greet you and ask yours, so reply me. Assalamu alaikum, maga'iga wa abdi, barashawan aksan, maga'a. So first, you need to reply the greeting. Say, wa alaikum assalam, which means, peace be with you too. Then say, maga'iga wa, flowed by your name. For example, maga'iga wa nur. And then say, barasho lamid'ah, which means, nice to meet you too. So if someone says to you, barashawan aksan, you have to reply, barasho lamid'ah. It's same as when someone says to you Subah wa naksan, you have to say Subah lamida. And finally, ask back the person Maga'a. Now, let's practice. Assalamu alaikum. Maga'i wa abdi barashaw wa naksan. Maga'a. Now, do you know how to say thank you and you're welcome in Somali? Then you will learn all of those and many other things in the next lesson. One is Arkidonna Ashakadambe, Nabat Galio. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Sodo, Wamal Nabzi, Kulan Wanaksan. Hi, I am Tijer Abzi. Nice to meet you. And welcome to Somali with Abzi. Do you want to book one on one Somali class? Then definitely check in the description and book right now. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce yourself in Somali language. And today, we are going to learn how to thank people in Somali or how to say good morning, good afternoon, good night, and many others. Are you ready? I'm Bilano. Then let's start. To say someone thank you in Somali language, say Mahad Sanid. Mahad Sanid. Ma had sa need. Ma had sa need. Ma had sa need. Ma had sa need. Now it's very important to know the word ma had sa need is only the short form, and the long form is wad ma had santahi. Wad ma had santahi. Wad ma had san ta hai. 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 So it's very important to know in Somali language the shortest answer is always the best, and we always prefer to use the shortened ways. That's why you should use Mahat Sanid instead of Wad Mahat Santahi. 
Now, if someone says to you, Mahad Sanid, and you would like to say, you're welcome in Somali, say, Adamudan. 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 And again, the word Adamudan is short form, and the long form is Adiga Aya Mudan. Adiga Aya Mudan. A di ga aya mu dan. A di ga aya mu dan. A di ga aya mu dan. And probably you know we always prefer to use the shortened way. That's why you should say adamudan. So now if someone says mahatsanit, you have to say adamudan. You don't have to say wad mahatsantahai and you don't have to say adiga ayamudan. Those are the long answers and the shortest answer would be the best in Somali. So now to say someone in Somali good morning say subah wa naksan. Subah wa naksan. Su bah wa nag san. Su bah wa nag san. Su bah wa nag san. Subah wa nag san. And if someone says to you, Subah wa nag san, we always respond. And the respond is not the same as English. So if someone says in English, Good morning, you should say, Good morning, or you should say morning. But in Somali, it's different. If someone says to you, Subah wa naksan, we sometimes say wa naksan or Subah wa naksan again, but we always say Subah lamid ah. Subah lamid ah. Subah lamid ah. Subah lamid ah. So the term lamid'ah in Somali, what we mean is, and you too, or as back to you as well. So as usual, when someone says to us, good morning or good afternoon or something like that, we always respond back, lamid'ah, with that verb. So we say, subah wa naksan, subah lamid'ah. And remember, we also say, subah wa naksan, and respond, subah wa naksan as well. And we sometimes say, wa naksan, as the way English does. Like good morning, morning. We say sometimes when accent, but that's not very useful. The most useful way to say is Subah lamida. So now, if you're going to say someone good night in Somali, we say Habin when accent. Habin when accent. Ha bin wa nag san. Ha bin wa nag san ha bin wa nag san ha bin wa nag san and the response for that is to say ha bin lamid ah ha bin lamid ah ha bin la mid ah ha bin la mid ah ha bin la mid Ah, habin lamida. Now, do you know how to ask someone their age, work, or what they do in Somali? Then you should learn those and many other phrases in the next lesson. And please, if you read until here, please like the video because it really helps to reach many people. Assalamu alaikum. Sodawo wa ma'al abzi. Kulongu naksan. Hi, I am Tijur Abzi. Nice to meet you. Welcome back to Somali with Abzi. Do you want to book one-on-one -on -one Somali class? Then definitely check on the description and book right now. Thank you. In the last lesson, we learned very important phrases to thank people in Somali. Today, we are going to learn how to ask people their age, work, where they live, and many other important phrases in Somali. Diarmatai. Are you ready? I'm Bilono. And let's begin. To ask someone their age in Somali, 
say meqa sana jirta or imisa sana jirta. Please remember, in southern Somalia, we use meqa sana jirta, meqo or meqa, meqa sana jirta. And in northern Somalia, they use imisa sana jirta. Instead of meqa or meqa, they say in northern Somalia, imisa, imisa sana jirta. And so, if you use one of those, it's correct and no problem at all. Now, say after me. Me ka sana jirta. 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 Let's practice the other way. Imi sa sana jirta. 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 And so, if someone asks you, me ka sana jirta, or imi sa sana jirta, say, waha jira, followed by your age, plus sano which means years. For instance, I am 22 right now filming this video. So, I will say, Waha jira labatan yolabo sano. Waha jira labatan yolabo sano. So maybe it's difficult for you to tell the Somalian numbers, but I already make a complete video about the Somalian numbers. Check somewhere in here or in here, and maybe you can watch after this lesson. Let's practice, and we will take 19 years old as an example. You can do your age as well. Waha jira toban i sagal sano. 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 And please remember this way waha jira plus your age and sano is a long form. So instead of that, in Somali, we always use the shortened way, which will be you age plus the number. So you say, labatan sano. You say, toban isagal sano. You say, labatan ilava sano. That way is always the most useful. Now, to ask someone their work or what they do as a living, we say in Somali, mahaqabata walal. Mahaqabata means what do you do? Walal can mean a brother or a sister or maybe your siblings. You can say walal. But in this case, you say walal to anyone who don't know their name. So you can say walal as a respect instead of calling something else because you don't know their name. But if the person is old enough or too old, you can say hoyo or you can say abo. Or you can say ader or edo. But in the most cases, if the person is not that old, and in between maybe from 19 or from 20 to 30 or 40, it's recommended to say walal. Now, let's practice what do you do in Somali. Mahaqabata walal. Ma ha ka ba ta wa lal. 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 So, if someone asks you ma ha ka ba ta wa lal, we say or we respond in Somali, wa haan ahai, followed by your occupation or your profession. So, for example, I am a teacher, so I will say, Wahan ahai ma'alin. You can be a doctor or an accountant or something else. So you add, Wahan ahai, which means I am, plus your occupation, or what you do, or your profession. That's how you say. Now, let's practice, and we will use the word ardai, which is a student. Wahan ahai ardai. Wa han a Hai Ardai Wa Han A Hai 
ارضي و حان ا هاي ارضي و حان ا هاي ارضي and always remember we use the shortened ways in somali so instead of و حان ا هاي followed by you occupation you can just say you occupation's name i would say معلن you might say ارضي or doctor or something like that and also if you're missing to know some occupation names i already make a very good video on my shorts and also on my tiktok account so i'll leave you in the description so that you can watch as well now to ask someone where they live in somali we say halke kuno shahai or hage kuno shahai or inte kuno shahai so the word is halke hage and inte are the same no problem you can say halke kuno shahai or hage kuno shahai or inte kuno shahai but it's also good to know the word is inte and hage are very common in southern somalia like the place we live in Mogadishu and so on we often say inte kuno shahai or hage kuno shahai we also say halke but not very useful in here so the other word which is halke is very useful in northern somalia like kargesa and so on so they often say halke kuno shahai but in Mogadishu or other regions in southern we might hear as well halke so you can say all of them it's completely fine Now let's practice. Hal ke kuno shahai. Hal ke ku no sha hai. Hal ke ku no sha hai. Hal ke ku no sha hai. Hal ke kuno shahai. So, if someone asks you hal ke kuno shahai or hage kuno shahai or in te kuno shahai we say wahan kuno lahai followed by the city or the country you live for instance right now filming this video i live in somalia or i live in mogadishu so i will simply say wahan kuno lahai mogadishu or wahan kuno lahai somalia so wahan kuno lahai somalia what about you now let's practice using somalia وحان كنو لهي سوماليا وحان كو نو لا هاي سوماليا وحان كو نو لا هاي سوماليا وحان كو نو لا هاي سوماليا وحان كنو لهي سوماليا and also don't forget to use the shortened way instead of wahan kuno lahai followed by the city or the country you live just say the place that's it you can say mogadishu you can say somalia you can say jarmalka you can say etiopia you can say kenya whatever the place you live or the city just say it and that's it do you know how to ask someone where they're from which city they live and talking about family in somali Well, you learn those and many other phrases in the next lesson. When is Arkana Asher Kadambo? Never kill you. So do wa maal abzi kolon wa naxan. Hi, I am Tijur Abzi. Nice to meet you. Do you want to book one-on-one -on -one Somali class? Then definitely you should check in the description and book right now. Thanks. In the last lesson, we learned a very important phrases to ask people about occupation work and so many other important phrases today we are going to learn how to ask someone where are you from which city or country do you live where do you live currently and so many other important phrases in somali are you ready i'm below no then let's begin to ask someone where are you from in somali say inte katimid or halke katimid and also you have to know in southern somalia the term inte kasojeda is very useful so whether you say inte kasojeda halke katimid or inte katimid it's same and no problem at all and so inte or halke means where katimid means are you from inte katimid where are you from 
או הלכי קטימיד, where are you from? Let's practice together now. In te katimid. In te ka ti mid. In te ka ti mid. In te ka ti mid. In te ka timid. Now let's practice the other one. Halke. Halke ka timid. Hal ke ka ti mid. 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 Now, if someone asks you hal ke ka ti mid or in te ka ti mid or maybe in te ka so jeda, say waha ka i mid plus your country. Or maybe your city. So you don't have to say waha katimid. When you're talking about I, say ka imid, imid. But when you ask is you, that's why we use katimid. Before I is imid. So say waha ka imid plus your country or your city. For example, I am from Somalia, so I can easily say waha ka imid Somalia. Maybe you can say waha ka imid Ingrizka, waha ka imid Jarmalka, waha ka imid Kenya. Wahaki imid marekanka, and so on. Or maybe you can use your city name. It's fine as well. So now let's practice together. We're going to use Somalia as an example. You can use your country name, no problem. Wahaka imid Somalia. Wahaka imid Somalia. Wahaka imid Somalia. و ح ك اي ميد صوماليا و ح ك اي ميد صوماليا and maybe you'd like to know how you can say your country name in Somali no problem I already made three lessons about how you can say the country name is and nationalities in Somali and you can watch right here now to ask someone which city do you live in Somali say مقالة ذي كنو شهي Magalo means city or city. Ku no shahai means do you live. So the verb nolol means live or to live somewhere or some place. And then when you ask you, you have to say no shahai. So magala de kuno shahai. Let's practice together now. Magala de kuno shahai. Ma ga la de ku. No sha hai. Ma ga la de ku no sha hai. Ma ga la de ku no sha hai. Magala de kuno sha hai. And so if someone asks you, Magala de kuno sha hai, you can easily say, Waha kuno la hai plus you city or the, the city you live right now. For example, I live in Mogadishu right now filming this video or this lesson so I can easily say Wahan kuno lahai Mogadishu Wahan kuno lahai Mogadishu So maybe you can say Wahan kuno lahai plus your city name Wahan kuno lahai London Wahan kuno lahai Minnesota Wahan kuno lahai Nairobi or something like that Let's practice together now, and we can use Mogadishu as an example. You can use your city name as always. Wahan ku no la hai Mogadishu. 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 So now, what about if you're going to ask someone, where do you live currently? Instead of saying, which city do you live? So we're going to say easily, in te ku no shahai. In te means where, ku no shahai means you live. So in te ku no shahai means where do you live? And we're going to add at the end, hada, which means currently or which means now in Somali. So we're going to say, in te ku no shahai hada, which means where do you live currently? 
Let's practice together now. Inte, ku, no, sha, hai, hada. 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 Or we can also practice the other way, which is halke. Halke, ku, no, sha, hai, hada. 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 And remember, always you can use one of them. Inte and halke are same. So no problem if you use inte ku, no, sha, hai, or if you use halke ku, no, sha, hai. That's the same. So to respond to that question, you need to say waha kuno lahai plus the city you live. And for this lesson, we're going to use London as an example. So we're going to say waha kuno lahai London. It's not important to say magala the London, London city. So you can skip city always. You can say London. Waha kuno lahai London. So let's practice together now. Waha ku no la. Hi, London. Wa han ku no la hai London. Wa han ku no la hai London. Wa han ku no la hai London. Now, do you know talking about family members in Somali? Then I'll teach you that interesting topic in the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum. So do wa ma'al abzi kolon wa naksan. Hi, I am Tijur Abzi. Nice to meet you. Welcome back to Somali with Abzi. Do you want to book one-on-one -on -one Somali class? Then definitely check in the description and book right now. Thanks. In the last lesson, we learned how to ask people, where are you from? Which city or country do you live? And so many other important phrases in Somali. Today, we are going to learn how to use verb can in Somali. Asking people questions using verb can in Somali. For instance, you're going to say, can you help me? Can you eat? Can you say it again? And so many other useful phrases in Somali. Diyar matahay? Are you ready? I'm below no. Then let's begin. To say verb can in Somali, we use different ways depending on each helping pronoun you use. So let's learn all the other ways of helping pronouns in Somali using verb can. So the way we form sentences in English and in Somali is different. For example, if we're going to say in Somali, I can read, we would say, Wan akrin kara. It's like, in English, it's I can read. In the middle, you have can, and at the end, you have the verb, which is read. But in Somali, the verb will go at the middle. So you say, Wan akrin kara, which means can will go at the end of the sentence. So like, Wan akrin kara, is literally like I read can, but that's not the way in English. So that's very good point to know. In Somali, the verb is in the middle, can is at the end, and we use at the beginning I like the way English does. So, one akinkara, I can read. Now let's learn all the other helping pronouns. Wad karta, wad kartin, wad. Kertin is for you all or you plural. Wan karna. Wan karna. Wei karan. Wei karan. Wei karta. Wei karta. Wu kara. Wu. Kara. So that's how we use all the other helping pronouns with verb can in Somali. Let's try now saying I can read, you can read, we, they, he, until she. Wan akrin kara. Wan akrin kara. Wad akrin karta. Wad akrin karta. Wad akrin kartin. Wad akrin kartin. Wan akrin karna. Wan akrin karna. Wai akrin karan. 
وي اقرين كران وي اقرين كرتا وي اقرين كرتا و اقرين كرا و اقرين كرا So please remember, in Somali language, there are pronouns like aniga, adiga, idinka, and also there are helping pronouns, which I only mentioned in this lesson. Like when I'm saying wan akrinkara is I can read, but wan is not pronoun, it's helping pronoun. So if you are going to learn the pronouns, you can join our Somali learning group on WhatsApp. It's completely free and I would just be happy if you can only like this video so that it can reach so many audiences more than now. So if you want to join the group, check in the first minute comment on this video. Thanks. Now let's use another verb with verb can, which is shaqain. Shaqain means work. And the noun is shako. Let's practice together. Wan shakain kara. Wan shakain kara. Wan shakain kara. Wad shakain karta. Wad shakain karta. Wad shakain karta. Wan shakain karna. Wan shakain. كرنا وانشقين كرنا ويشقين كران وي شقين كران ويشقين كران ويشقين كرتا وي شقين كرتا ويشقين كرتا وشقين كرا وشقين كرا وشقين كرا So it's very important to know instead of using way for they like way shqain karan they can work you can use two people names you can say abdi iyo hasan iyo means and if you didn't know that abdi iyo hasan abdi and hasan way shqain karan they can work so the very good important point to know that is in somali we say way which means the helping pronoun even if you use two nouns Like in English, you say, Abdi and Hassan can work. You don't need to say, Abdi and Hassan, they can work. So that's the point in Somali. You have to use they, which is our helping pronoun. You have to use that. It's like in Somali, you say, Abdi and Hassan, they can work. That's how we say in Somali. Abdi iyo Hassan we shaqain karan. You can't skip way. That means you can't say, Abdi iyo Hassan shaqain karan. That's not correct. So you have to use way if you use two names or two nouns before that. So that's the same rule as when you use he and she. So we say way shaqain karta, she can work. Wu shaqain kara, he can work. Instead of that, you can use one name. Like I can say Abdi wu shaqain kara, Abdi can work. Or I can say Aisha wa shqain karta. Aisha can work. Now let's use the verb help in Somali, which we say awin. So the verb is awin, and the noun is awi. So to make this sentence more sense, we're going to use after awin a noun, like we're going to say I can help Abdi or something like that. So you can use your name or someone else's name. That's fine. Let's practice together. Wan awin kara hoyo. Wan awin kara hoyo. Wan awin kara hoyo. Wad awin karta hoyo. Wad awin karta hoyo. Wan awin karna hoyo. Wan awin karna hoyo. Wan awin karna hoyo. Wai awin karan hoyo. Wei awin karan hoyo. Wei awin karan hoyo. Wei awin karta hoyo. Wei awin karta hoyo. Wei awin karta hoyo. Wu awin kara hoyo. Wu awin kara hoyo. Wu awin kara hoyo. Now, what about if you're going to make a question and say, can you work? Or maybe, can you help mom? Or maybe, can you eat? 
or can you read? So to make those question form, we need to use very easy rule, which is start with the question word, which is ma. So you say ma plus the verb, which is awin. Ma'awin and you is karta, right? So we say ma'awin karta and the noun, which is hoyo. Ma'awin karta hoyo. So the response is easy. So in Somali, we always use the shortest answer which is possible. So we say only ha, or we say maya. Or you can say also when I win kara, which is I can help. If you cannot help, or maybe you're going to make the negative answer, you say ma'a win kari. Or sometimes you may hear ma'a win karo. So let's make some sentences so that you understand it very well. Mashaqayin karta. Ma. Shaqain karta. Mashaqain karta. Ha. Wan shaqain kara. Ha wan shaqain kara. Ma'awin karta abdi. Ma'awin karta abdi. Ma'awin karta abdi. Maya ma'awin kari. Maya ma'awin kari. Ma'akrin karta somali. ما أقرين كرتا سومالي ما أقرين كرتا سومالي ها وانا أقرين كرا ها وانا أقرين كرا معوني كرتا بريس معوني كرتا بريس معوني كرتا بريس ها وانا أقرين كرا ها وانا أقرين كرا ما يعاون كرتا Mayawin karta. Mayawin karta. Ha, wanko awin kara. Ha, wanko awin kara. So for now, do this assignment. I will give you a verb, so use it. I, we, you, they, he, she with verb can in Somali. And use the order we learned right now. So the verb I'm going to give you to practice with is un. That's the noun. The verb is uni. So you're going to say, I can eat with maybe banana, moss, or mousse, how do you, depending on how you say. Wan uni kara moss. Wat uni karta moss. Wan uni karna we. So you do it, I, we, you, they, he, she, all of them. So after you did your assignment, send me or share with me on our learning Somali group, which is called Bara Somali. If you didn't join yet, go to the fast bin comment and join right now. Now, do you know talking about family member names and most useful phrases in Somali? Then I'll teach you that interesting topic in the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum. Sodo wa ma'an abzi kulon wa naksan. Hi, I'm Tudor Abzi. Nice to meet you. This video is kindly sponsored by Active Translationists. More of them I will tell you later in the video. Welcome back to Somali with Abzi. Do you want to book one-on-one -on -one Somali class? Then definitely check in the description and book right now. Thanks. In the last lesson, we learned how to use can in Somali. We learned phrases like can you help me, can you eat, can you work, and so many other important phrases in Somali. Today, we are going to learn how to talk about family members' names and also the most useful phrases in Somali. This lesson contains two main sections. In section 1, I will teach you all the basic family member names in Somali. And in section 2, we will learn all the most useful phrases about family member names in Somali. Quick note, I'm not just telling you how you can say mom, dad, and siblings in Somali, but I will teach you all the way saying from a person, man, people, family, and all the most useful phrases and family member names in Somali. So, grab your notebook and be ready a very long and informative lesson. I'm Bilono. Then let's begin. Now, let's start with the basic family member names in Somali. Starting with family itself in Somali. We say qoys or rare. So the word qoys is very useful in Southern Somalia or Comforta Somalia, which is Mukudishu and other regions. 
And the other word, rare, is very useful in northern Somalia or Rukuyik Somalia, like Hargeisa and the other regions. And also, sometimes you may hear the English word as Somali version, which is Femil. But that's very useful only for this generation, because they know some English. Let's practice together the word Qoys or Rare. Qoys 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 Rare 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 Our next word is person in Somali. We say Qof or sometimes you may hear Qof. That can be also correct. Let's practice together. Qof 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 Now let's say people in Somali. We say Dad. It's not like the way you say in English, dad, but it's dad. Maybe if you see this writing D-A-D, dad, you may think dad, but in Somali is dad. Let's practice together. Dad. 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 Moving to the next one, which is man in Somali. We say nin. Let's practice together. Nin. 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 Let's say now woman in Somali. We say nag. Let's practice together. Nag. 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 Let's say now boy in Somali. We say wheel or we also say inan the word wheel is very useful in southern somalia and the word inan is very useful in northern somalia and no problem if you use one of them it's just the same let's practice now wheel 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 inan Inan. Inan. We say girl in Somali, gabar or inan. And maybe now you noticed boy was inan. So what's the difference between inan and inan? Let me explain you. So when you mean a boy, you can say wheel. And also in northern Somalia, they say inan. Inan. And when you say a girl in Somali is gabar. And in Northern Somalia, it's very useful, Inan. So it depends on how you pronounce. When you say Inan, it's a boy. When you say Inan, it's a girl. Kind of long, Inan. And also the other difference is when you use in a sentence. When you're going to say, like, the boy is Abdi, you say, Inanka wa Abdi. And when you're going to say, the girl is Faduma, you'll say, Inanta wa Faduma. So like Inanka, the K with male nouns, and Inanta, the T is for feminine nouns. That's the main difference. Let's practice together. Gabar. 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 Inan. 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 We say dad in Somali, abe, or sometimes you may hear abe with double D. That's also correct. Let's practice together. Abe. 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 We say mom in Somali, hoyo, or sometimes you may hear mamo, which is Arabic word, and it's very useful most of the time for kids, and that's also fine. So let's practice together. Hoyo, hoyo, hoyo. We say uncle, especially the paternal uncle in Somali, ader. 
In Somali, it's not the way as English. We have different names for our uncles and aunties from mom's side and dad's side. Let's practice together. Ader. 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 We say uncle, especially the maternal uncle in Somali, Abti. Let's practice together. Abti. 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 We say aunt, especially the paternal aunt in Somali, Edo. Let's practice together. Edo. 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 We say aunt, especially the maternal aunt in Somali, Habariar. Or sometimes you may hear Ayo. Or even the shortened way of Habariar, which is Habo. All of them are very useful in Somali. Let's practice together. Habariar. 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 Ayo. 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 Habo. 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 Now let's say siblings in Somali. We say walalo. And also the word walalo can mean plural noun of walal. So the sound is different. When you mean brother, you say walal or you say walalo. And when you mean the plural noun, it's walalo, like walalehe wa fi'anihin. My brothers are good or my siblings are good. Let's practice together. Walalo. 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 We say brother in Somali, walal or abowe. Or you can also say walalke, which means my brother. And please be careful the word abowe, because you can't say to anyone. You have to say only your real brother and not to anyone else. And the main reason for that is in Somali language, we say abowe or we say abayo to maybe some girl or some boy who are going to date each other or to talk each other. So like, you don't have to say abowe to anyone and you don't have to say abayo to anyone. A very good example for that can be if I get a WhatsApp notification which says like, abowe setai, I'll feel like, okay, so maybe some girl is talking to you because that's how in Somali language is. So that's the same thing. So you don't have to use abowe and abayo to anyone. Let's practice together now. A bo we. A bo we. A bo we. Wa lal. Wa lal. We say sister in Somali, abayo or walal. Or you can also say walashe, which means my sister. Let's practice together now. A ba yo. Abayo. Abayo. Wa lal. Walal. Walal. So, in Somali, there are different ways of saying cousin, depending on where they come from. If they from aunt side or if they from uncle side. We say in other for paternal uncle side. In abti for maternal uncle side. In edo for paternal aunt side. In habariar or in habo for maternal aunt side. Let's practice together now. In other. I na other. In other. In abti. I na abti. In abti. In edo. I na edo. In edo. In habo. Or in habariar. I na habariar. In habariar. A note you can also hear ilma ader, ilma abti. Il mahabariyar, il edo, instead of ina. That's also useful.
Now, before we go to the next interesting part of our lesson, if you are someone who needs to get a quality service translation for their business, subtitling films, law documents, and medical documents from English to Somali, Somali to English, from Arabic to Somali, and Arabic to Somali, then you may like an agents like Active Translations who are kindly sponsoring this video. Active Translations is a leading translation agency headquartered in Mogadishu, Somalia, and it has been providing a translation service since 2018. Active Translation is focuses exclusively in high quality and cost effective system development and implementation of any type of translation services. So if you like this service and you want to use for your next project, click the first link in the description and write them Somali with Abzi so that you can be the first 100 people who clicks that link and gets 40% discount. So try it now and click. And thank you so much Active Translations for sponsoring this video. And now let's go back to our lesson. To say husband or my husband in Somali say Ninkega or sometimes you may hear Hajigiga. Let's practice together. Nin kei ga. Nin kei ga. Nin kei ga. Ha ji gei ga. Ha ji gei ga. Ha ji gei ga. To say wife or my wife in Somali, say nag tei da or has kei ga. Let's practice together. Nag tei da. Nag tei da. Nagteida Haskeiga 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 To say son in Somali we say Wilkaga or Inankaga That means you son If you're going to say my son you can say Wilkaga or Inankaga Let's practice together Wil ka ga. Wil ka ga. Wil ka ga. Inan ka ga. Inan ka ga. Inan ka ga. We say dota in Somali. Gabardada or gabartada or inantada. That's you dota. When you're going to say my dota in Somali, say gabadeda or Gabarteida or Inanteida. Let's practice together. Gabarada. Gabarada. Gabartada. Gabartada. Inantada. Inantada. Now to say nephew in Somali, we say different ways depending on if it's your brother's side or your sister's side. So if it's your brother's son, say Wilka Aderko Ahai or you can say Wilka Walalke. And if it's your sister's son, say Wilka Abtigo Ahai or you can say Wilka Walashe. Let's practice together. Wilka Aderka Uahai. Wilka Aderko Ahai. Wilka Walalke. Wilka Walalke. Wilka Abtiga Wahai Wilka Abtiga Wahai Wilka Wala Shay Wilka Wala Shay Now to say father in law in Somali, say Sodog, or you can say Sodogega, which is my father in law. Let's practice together Sodog Sodog Sodogega Sodogega. Now to say mother in law, say Sodo. Or you can say Sodogdeida, which is my mother in law. Let's practice together. Sodo. Sodo. Sodogdeida. To say brother in law, we say Sedi. Or you can also say Sedige, which means my brother in law. Let's practice together. Sedi. Sedi Sedi Gay 
Say digay. To say sister in law in Somali, say dumashi. Or you can also say dumashi day, which means my sister in law. Let's practice together. Dumashi. 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 Now to say grandfather in Somali, say awowe or abko. Or you can also say abkoge or awowe, which means my grandfather. Let's practice together. Awowe. A wo we. Awowe. Abko. 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 And finally, to say grandmother in Somali, say ayeyo, or you can say aboto, or maybe you can say ayeyede or abotade. Let's practice together. Ayeyo. A ye yo. Ayeyo. Aboto. Aboto. A bo to. Aboto. Now, do you want to learn the most useful phrases for family members in Somali? Then I will teach you in the next lesson. And please, if you read until here, I know this lesson is very, very helpful for you. So, please like my video so that I can reach more audience than now. And also, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Assalamu alaikum wa ma'al abzi kulon accent. Hi, I am Tijur Abzi. Nice to meet you. Welcome back to Somali with Abzi. In the last lesson, we learned how to talk about family member names in Somali. Today, we are going to learn the most useful phrases about family members in Somali. Diarmatai, are you ready? I'm Bilano. Then let's begin. We say how many people are in your family in Somali? Koiskina mekakofwaye or rerkina waimisakof. So kois or rer means family, and koiskina or rerkina means you family. Meka or imisa means how many, and then kof means a person. Now let's practice together. Koiskina mekakofwaye. Koiskina mekakofwaye. Kois kina meka kof waye. Kois kina meka kof waye. Rer kina waye misa kof. Rer kina waye misa kof. Rer kina wa imisa kof. Rer kina waye misa kof. Now to answer that question in Somali, say kois kena or rer kena. Plus the number of your family members. For instance, I will say ten because my family members are ten. So I will say, "Koiskena wa tabankov," or we can also say, "Rerkena wa tabankov." So "Koiskena" or "Rerkena" means our family, and the question was "Koiskina" or "Rerkina." That means you family. When you ask someone, "Koiskina." Mekakofwai or rare kina wai misakof. But the answer should be koiskena or rare kena, which means our family. So you say koiskena or rare kena plus the number of your family and kof at the end. So we say koiskena wa tobankof or rare kena wa tobankof. Now let's practice together. Koiskena wa tobankof. Koiskena wa Toban kof. Kois ken na wa toban kof. Kois ken na wa toban kof. Rer 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 ken na wa toban kof. Now we say how is the family in Somali? Kois ka seihin or Rerka kawaran. So it's very good to know the term seihin is coming from when you say like setai, which means how are you. So se means how, 
and the last tahai is showing you. So if you're going to say, how is he? You can say, su yahai, like abdi su yahai, how is abdi? Or you can also say, how is she? Se tahai, Aisha se tahai. And it's also very good to know the other term, which is kawaran. It's like when we say is kawaran, which means how are you? And we also can say, how is he? Abdi kawaran. Or maybe how is she? Aisha kawaran. Now let's practice together. Koiska seihin. Koiska seihin. Koiska seihin. Koiska seihin. Rerka kawaran. Rerka kawaran. Rerka kawaran. Rerka kawaran. Now to answer that question in Somali, say Koiska we fianihin or Rerka we nabat kaban. Let's practice together. Koiska we fianihin. Koiska we fianihin. Koiska we fianihin. Koiska we fianihin. Rerka we nabat kaban. Rerka we nabat kaban. Rerka we nabat kaban. Rerka we nabat kaban. We say, how many siblings do you have in Somali? Meko walalo ayad ledahay. Or, imisa walalo ayad ledahay. So we already know meko means how. And walalo means siblings. Ayad is just a helping pronoun. Le dahai means have. And in Somali language, it's very good to know we use have or has in Somali different ways. So sometimes you may hear, Wahan hai sta book, which means I have a book. And also sometimes you may hear, Wahan le hai guri, I have a house. So that means if you can catch the thing in your hand, you can say, Wahan hai sta instead of Wahan le hai. On the other side, if you own the thing and you can't catch in your hand, like house, um, family, siblings, brothers, sisters, and something like that, you should use Wuhan Leihai. And the good news for this, I already made an entire video talking about differences between Hesta and Leihai. So you can go right here and watch that video after this one. Now let's practice together. Meko walalo ayad Leihai. Meko walalo ayad Leihai. Me ka walalo ayad le dahai. Me ka walalo ayad le dahai. Imisa walalo ayad le dahai. Imisa walalo ayad le dahai. I mi sa walalo ayad le dahai. Imisa walalo ayad le dahai. To reply that question, say wahan le yahai plus number of siblings you have. For example, I can just use six. Wahan le yahay lih walalo. Now let's practice together. Wahan le yahay lih walalo. 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 Now we say, are you the oldest one in your family in Somali? Adiga ma uguwin qoyskina. Or we can also say, Adiga Mia Uguwain Rerkina. So Uguwain means the oldest. And we can also say, Uguyar means the youngest. Ugu Gaban, the shortest. Ugu Der, the tallest. Ugu Aklibadan, the smartest. So that's how we use superlatives in Somali language. Now let's practice together. Adiga Ma Uguwain Koiskina. Adiga ma ugu wain koiskina. Adiga ma ugu wain koiskina. Adiga ma ugu wain koiskina. Adiga miya ugu wain rerkina. 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 Now, to answer that question in Somali, say, Maya, Wahana hai kofka sedahad. 
which means no, I am the third person. Or you can also say ha aniga uwin, which means yes, I am the oldest one. And for this lesson, we will use no, I am the third person in our family. Now let's practice together. Maya wahana hai kofka sadahad. Maya wahana hai kofka sadahad. Maya wahan ahai kofka sadahad. Maya wahan ahai kofka sadahad. We say, What's your mom or dad's name in Somali? Abaha magariz or hoyada magaed. So, abo means dad, and abaha means your dad. And also, hoyada means your mom, and hoyo means mom. Now, let's practice together. Abaha magariz. Abaha magariz. A baha magariz. A baha magariz. Hoyada magaed. Hoyada magaed. Ho yada magaed. Hoyada magaed. And to answer that question, we say Abahe wa plus your dad's name. And also Hoyade wa plus your mom's name. So Abahe means my dad. And Hoyade means my mom. We did already Abaha means you dad and Hoyada means you mom. That was the question. The answer should be my mom and my dad, right? So we will say Abahe wa plus your dad's name and also Hoyade wa plus your mom's name. So, for example, I will just use as a dad name Abdi and as a mom name Aisha. So let's practice together. Abahe wa Abdi. A bahay wa abdi. A bahay wa abdi. A bahay wa abdi. Hoyaday wa asho. Hoyaday wa asho. Ho yaday wa asho. Hoyaday wa asho. Now we say, do you have a nickname in Somali? Nanais maladahay. So, nanais means nickname, ma is question word, and again, ledahai means have. It's because nickname you can't cut in your hand, it's just something you own. So, you say, ma ledahai, not mahe sata. That's a mistake I see most of the time for my students. So, you say, nanais ma ledahai. Now, let's practice together. Nanais ma ledahai. Nanais ma ledahai. Na nais maladahai. Na nais maladahai. And to reply that question, say ha wan layahai or maya malihi. If you have a nickname, say ha wan layahai. Yes, I have or yes, I do. And if you don't have a nickname, say maya malihi. No, I don't have. So let's practice together. Ha wan layahai. Ha wan layahai. Ha wan layahai. Ha wan layahai. Maya malihi. Maya malihi. Maya malihi. Maya malihi. Now, do you want to learn how to ask questions when you're doing shopping in Somali? Then I'll teach you that interesting topic in the next lesson. And if you read until here, I am sure this lesson is very helpful for you. So please like my video so that I can reach much audience than now. And subscribe if you're new here. Assalamu alaikum, sodawo wa ma'al abzi kuna wa naksan. Hi, I am Tijur Abzi. Nice to meet you. Welcome back to Somali with Abzi. And today I am going to teach you how we can say all of these things in Somali language. Diyar matahay. Are you ready? And below no. Then let's begin. Let's start with the most useful things in our houses. These are what we call in Somali galas. These things we call in Somali galas. So this one is glass, and this one also is glass, and this one also is glass. 
The difference is that this one is metal glass and it's very useful in Somalia. So we use this one most of the time. I don't know why, but in Somalia, if you came to Somalia somewhere, then you will find these are very useful in the country. All right, this one also is glass and it's kind of plastic, as you can see that. So this is also very useful in Somalia, especially and kids always use this one to drink tea or maybe milk or something like that. Yeah. And this one also we call glass. And you have to know this one is not metal and it's not plastic. And we also call glass since the shape is just the same. And we use the same thing. We drink water, milk, tea, and so on. But the most of the time we drink tea with different cups like these. We're going to learn that as well. So you can say these, all of these things in Somali language, glass. You can call you maybe brother or your sister. Iken glaska, which means bring me the glass. But we mean glass as Somali language. All right, those are what we call glass in of Somali. All right, the next one are these in Somali language. So we call these in Somali language bakeri. You have to make sure how you say that. This one we call bakeri. Bakeri we use to drink tea most of the time, or maybe milk if you want to. So these are different kind of bakeri in Somali language. And this one is actually the most useful one in Somalia. So it's kind of transparent. If you maybe put some drink or maybe some tea, and then you can find how it looks like actually. This one is very useful. And also these kind of um, bakeri in Somali is very useful as well. It's kind of big. And this is also very useful. I know this one you call in English mag, but in Somali you call all of these bakeri. And we use to drink tea and maybe milk and so on. So those are what we call bakeri in Somali language. And now let's see one of the most useful things in Somali language. And these are the things. So these are, you call in Somali language, argalan. We call it argalan. Sometimes you may hear arglan with A. And most of the time we used to drink milk or maybe something like that or water and something like that. We don't use these things to, to drink tea because it's kind of metal. It will be very hot if you try to drink tea. So these are what we call arglan. And always you have to know it can have another name depending on each region. But this name is very useful in Southern Somalia, Mogadishu and other regions. So we call it arglan. These are the things. So it can be a big one or maybe a small one. So you can say Arglan Wayne or you can say Arglan Yeris. So you can call it someone, Iken Arglan. Then they might say you, Kewai, which one? And you say, Ken Yar, the smaller one, or maybe Ken Wayne, the bigger one, something like that. So we call it Arglan. And now let's learn all the things how we can say in Somali language. So these are very useful when we eat in food or something like that. So starting with this thing, this one is called fargedo in Somali. As you know, we use this one to maybe eat pasta or something like that. But in Somalia, we always use this. We always use our hands to eat all the things. So that's why you can maybe find only one in our house. Yeah. So this is what we call fargedo. You eat pasta or something like that. It's called fargedo. And the other one is very useful in Somalia is tando. Or maybe you can hear kado without na, depending on each region as well. So this is called kando. This is the big one. So you say kando wain. There is also kando yar, and this is kando as well. So this is the smaller one. You might call this one kando yar, and this one is kando wain, and this one is fargedo. So yeah, we use these things all the time, and it's very useful. Kando yar, kando wain, fargedo. You might call some, someone and you say, Iken Kando. They may say, Kewai or Tewai, which one? Say, Kando Yer Iken or Kando Wen Iken or maybe Fergedo the Iken. So these are how we say Fergedo, Kando Wen, Kando Yer. And now let's learn how we can call these things in Somali again. And this is what you call also Kando. So this is Kando as well, as we learned Kando Wen, Kando Yer. This is also Kando. It's kind of different, yeah? It's different. So we use this one when we cook in sambus or samosa, how you know it. So this is what we call kandada sambuska. This is what we call kandada sambuska. Some people, they might say kandada shabakaleh. 
Maybe, but the most useful name you can call it is Kandada Sambuska. All right, and this is what we call Mindi, or you can say Midi. So this is also very useful. You can call it in Somali Mindi or Midi. And this is Kandada Sambuska. And now let's learn one of the most useful things in Somali language or in Somalia, which is this thing. So this is called Garafo, and also this is called Garafo. So let me move this one a little bit. So yeah. So these are what we call in Somali Garafo, and it can be kind of different things. So this is called Garafo, and this one also is called Garafo. This one is a smaller one, you can say Garafayer, and this one is a big one, you can say Garafoween. And so you have to also know the thing, which is this thing is called the ball. So this one is called the ball, the lid. Any kind of lid you can call in Somali the ball. You sometimes can say for. For means open. And also you can say the lid you can call for. And the most useful noun is the ball. So you can do this. So these are called garafo. This is a smaller one, garafayer. And this is the bigger one, you can say Garafawain. All right, let's learn one of the most useful things in Somali language, which are these things, what we call in Somali and what we use also. So these are the things we drink water, and this is called in English bottle of water or bottle of water, how you say it. This is what you call in Somali, Qajale, or you can also say Ag, or maybe Agabiha. Some people call just Ag. Some people call Aga Biha, and most useful noun is Qajale. The reason they call Qajale is that it, it sounds like this. You know, so that's why they call Qajale. So, and this is called Burashad, and it's kind of similar, but this one is different actually. So you say this one Burashad, and this one you may say Qajale or Aga Biha. And now let's learn how we can say this one in Somali language. So we use this one maybe to put the tea after we cook and it's called termus or you can say termush with a sh sound at the end or with a sa sound at the end. So this is what we call termus. I know if you, sp if you speak English, it sounds like thermos. Maybe that's the word, maybe that's the place the word came from. So we call it in Somali termush or termus. Okay, now let's learn how we can call this thing in Somali language. So this one is the thing you maybe cook with the tea. And this is what we call in Somali language, Jalmad. We call this one in Somali language, Jalmad. And also, this is the thing you call Dabal, or maybe Fur. This is the one we call Dabal. All right, now let's learn how we can call this thing in Somali language. I know this one is very useful or maybe very familiar in Somali language. And maybe if you see kind of cultural things, you can find this one. So this one is what we call in Somali language, Kalorad. We call this one in Somali language, Kalorad. You have to know it may have another name for some other regions, but we call in Somali language this one, Kalorad. What we use this thing? We use this one to put some kind of meat. That's what we call in Somali language, Odka. Or you can also call mokmad. So that is where to store that meat in Somali language. And we call kalorad. Yeah. Sometimes they have a lock in here after they put in so that it can be safe. And so, yes, this is what we call kalorad. Okay. And now what we call this thing in Somali language, this is just kind of a um, plastic thing. And we call this one in Somali language ag. We just use these things to store the little things, like maybe sugar, maybe tea plant, or something like that. So we, we call these things, or anything, something like that, which is plastic, you can call it in Somali language, ag. So this is the thing we call fur or dabal, and this is the thing. So you call this one in Somali, ag. All right, now what we call these things in Somali language. So these are what we call in Somali language, gesa. It's kind of can in English. So we call this one in Somali, gasa. It can be small one, gasa or it can be big one, gasa wain. It can be more than this, but we call these things gasa. And we store most of the time this one like for milk, this one like for maybe popcorn. So you can see here, 
may be the one we put with tuna or the fish. We call all of, all of those things gasa. And the last one we have for this lesson is this thing, and we call it in Somali language sagbad. You know what we use? We put all the things, the glasses and all of the stuff, and then you take maybe to the guest. Yeah, this is what we call in Somali language sagbad. And thank you so much for watching this lesson. Let me know if you learned a lot in the comment section so that I can make part two of this lesson and we will learn something like bands, lids and all the other stuff. Now, do you want to learn how you can ask people questions when you're doing shopping in Somali language? Then I'll teach you that interesting topic in the next lesson. And please, if you read until here, I know the lesson is very useful for you. So please like my video so that it can reach much audience than now. Assalamu alaikum, sodawu wa ma'al abzi kulawan aksan. Hi, I am Tijur Abzi. Nice to meet you. Welcome back to Somali with Abzi. And today we are going to talk about phrases for shopping in Somali language. The Aramatai, are you ready? I'm Bilono. Then let's begin. So to say someone, can you help me in Somali? We say Mai Awin Karta Walal. So the first thing ma is the question word. And e is like me. So may awin karta walal. So basically the word walal means a brother or a sister, which we use like more formal way. So if you don't know the person's name, you can say them walal. And that's very good. And that's like formal way instead of saying something else or just calling them. So we say may awin karta walal. So let's practice together. Ma'i. عاون كرتا ولال معاون كرتا ولال Now if you're going to say where is the closest store or where is the closest shop we say in Somali آوي دكان كدركا So آوي means where دكان means a shop So دكان كا means the shop and دركا means the closest So that's why we use in Somali most of the time the with the names So we say آوي دكان كدركا so let's practice together. Away dukanka darka. Away dukanka darka. Now to say, yes, I can help you in Somali, or yes, I can help, you can say, ha walal wanku awin kara. So ha means yes, we know that one. Also, no, in Somali we say maya. And so walal, we already mentioned that. Wanku awin kara means I can help you or I can help. And then you can say maybe you can direct maybe where the closest shop is. So if you're going to say maybe the closest shop is at that junction and it's the opposite to the national bank, something like that. So we say in Somali, Dukan kadarka wuhukuyal is goiskaz. Wuhuna kaso hurjeda bangiga karanka. So what we mean, Dukan Kadarka is the closest shop. Wuhukuyal means is at, and then Sgoiskas means that junction. In Somali, we call junction is Goiz, is Goiz. Then Sgoiskas means that junction. So Dukan Kadarka Wuhukuyal is Goiskas. The closest shop is at that junction. And then Wuhuna Kasohur Jeda Bangiga Karanka. Wuhuna kasohur jeda, and it's the opposite to National Bank. So that's what we say in Somali. So let's practice together. Dukan kadarka wuhukuyal is goiskas. Wuhuna kasohur jeda, bangiga karanka. Dukan kadarka wuhukuyal is goiskas. Wuhuna kasohur jeda, bangiga karanka. All right. Now maybe you are the seller and you're going to say your customers, welcome or hello, my customer or something like that. So what about if you're going to say, hello, customer, welcome, what do you need to buy? Something like that in Somali. So we say, hayya ma'amil. Hayya is like hello or hi in Somali, actually, when we try to not direct translation in Somali. So we say, hayya ma'amil, hello, customer. So the wo is like, welcome. Hayya ma'amil sodawo, welcome customer. And then, mahadu bahantahay inad gadatid. Or, mahadu bahantahay inad ibsatid. So the verb gado means to buy something, and also ibso means to buy something. It's just the same, no problem at all. So we say, mahadu bahantahay inad gadatid. Or, mahadu bahantahay inad ibsatid. Now let's practice together for that one. Hayya ma'amil sodawo, 
محاد دو بهان تاه اینات گذاشتید. هی ما عمل سودو محاد دو بهان تاه اینات یبستید. Then as a customer, if you're going to say I need to buy with something, so we we say in Somali, وحان دو بهان هی اینان گذاشت. Then the things you need to buy. For this example, we're going to say beautiful clothes. Let's say, وحان دو بهان هی اینان گذاشت. در قرحان. I can also say. And now, if the seller are going to say, it's ready, customer, look at these clothes and choose the one you like, something like that in Somali. So we say in Somali, or we can also say, both are the same. It's like when you say, or maybe, can why. Or you say, like, you knock maybe the door and someone says, yeah, why? Anyway. It's me, or you can say wa aniga. It's me, so it's the same. So you say diar wa maamil, or maybe wa diar. Then you say firso darkan e doro mitkad jalatid. Firso means look it darkan these clothes and e doro e doro mitkad jalatid and choose the one you like it. So let's say again diar wa maamil, or maybe wa diar maamil. All right. Now, if you're going to say in Somali, do you have clothes for cold? I know most of people practice in Somali. They're already in European or maybe American countries. But in Somalia, we don't use cold clothes. So that's why maybe it's, this one is useful for you. Okay. So we say, Mahaysin means do you have, and we're talking about you, many people, not only one person. If I'm so, if I'm talking about my friend, I would say Mahaysa Darkaboga. Do you have? That's one person. Now we're saying Mahaysin, which is like group of people. So Mahaysin Darkaboga. Do you have the clothes or clothes for cold? Darka means the clothes, and then Kaboga means the cold. So it's like. Do you have the clothes for the cold in Somali when you try to direct translate? But that's not the way. So we say, Mahisin larka kaboga. And to respond for that one, say, Ha wan hai na walal, kalai fir kaiptan. Ha wan hai na walal, yes we have or yes we do. And then, kalai fir kaiptan, come and see this section. That's, or maybe, come and check this section. That's what we mean in Somali. Okay. ها وان هنا ولال كالي في رقبتان ها وان هنا ولال كالي في رقبتان Now, if you're going to say how much is this plus the thing you're going to ask for this lesson, we're going to say how much is this jacket. So let's say in Somali, jacketan mekawai, or you can say mekawai jacketan. Also, you can say imisawai jacketan. We mentioned earlier lessons, or maybe our last or previous lessons. Is that it's the same meko or imisa? It's just the same, no problem, no worries. Use whatever you want or which one you want, you can use it, no problem. So meko wai jakadan or imisa wai jakadan. Then, as we are in Somalia, we would say it's 500,000 Somali shillings because we use Somali shilling. As it's not that maybe sometimes re not real because we use kind of dollar currency when it comes to digital money. But the cash in Somalia is Somali shilling. So we would say, Washambukolokun shilling Somalia. Washambukolokun shilling Somalia. Then maybe you're going to know 500,000 Somali shillings as dollar, so you can ask like this Dollar ahan mekawaye. Dollar ahan mekawaye. So dollar ahan as a dollar mekawaye means how much is it? And then you can add Mishe karta. Can you tell me? So you can say like, can you tell me how much in dollars? So you say, dollar ahan me kawai, me ishei karta. Or you can start with, can you tell me in Somali? Me ishei karta, dollar ahan me kawai. Both are fine. So for that respond, we'll say, ha walal wa labatan dollar. Ha walal wa labatan dollar. Labatan means 20 in Somali. I already make how you can learn Somali numbers from zero to one billion. So you can check somewhere in here or in here to watch that video, all right? Now, maybe you like the jacket, but it's not fit for you. So you can ask, do you have a bigger number for this jacket or something like that? All right, we say, 
نمبر وين مهيسين جاكدان ولال نمبر وين مهيسين جاكدان ولال نمبر وين مهيسين جاكدان ولال so number is just a number وين means big so number وين مهيسين we already know that do you have نمبر وين مهيسين جاكدان this jacket so number وين مهيسين جاكدان and to respond to that question we would say for this lesson ها وان هينا ولال نمبر كي قادتا or نمبر كي حلتا ها وان هينا ولال yes we have نمبر كي قادتا which number do you take or نمبر كي حلتا which number do you wear so it's the same ها وان هينا ولال نمبر كي قادتا or نمبر كي حلتا maybe you're going to say I think it's medium but not sure or maybe I think it's maybe large or extra large or something like that so as this lesson we're going to say I think it's medium but not sure so we would say waxaan umalaynaya dhadhaad lakin mahubo waxaan umalaynaya dhadhaad lakin mahubi and then maybe as a seller you're going to say no problem come here and try this one so we will say دب ملهان كالي هالكان اتجابي مدان دب ملهان كالي هالكان اتجابي مدان so دب ملهان we know that's no problem كالي هالكان come here اتجابي مدان and try this one then the jacket is fits for you now so you're going to say maybe thanks this jacket is fits for me I'm buying so we say in Somali مهد سند ويلا اكتهي مدان وانقدنا يا or you can also say مهد سند ويلا فعضه مدان وان إبسنا يا so when ibsana ya means i'm buying ibso or gado is same so when ibsana ya or wan gadana ya and also it fits for me you can say way ila ektai or way ila fa'dai same also if someone is same age as you so you can say wa ila fa'yahi abdi something like that or it's a girl aisha wa ila fa'dai we are in same age and now as a seller maybe you're going to say you're welcome dear customer the shop is yours and welcome something like that in Somali so we say adamudan ma'amil dukanka wa dukanka ya so do la say again adamudan ma'amil dukanka wa dukanka ya so do and you have to know this lesson is so huge so maybe if you like the video and maybe comment we need part two so I will do another video for this inshallah now, do you want to learn how to use the future tense in Somali language? Then you will learn that topic in the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum, sodawo wa ma'al abzi kula wa naksan. Hi, I am Tijur Abzi, nice to meet you. And today we are going to talk about the future tense in Somali language. Diyar matahai, are you ready? I'm bilono. Then let's begin. So let's begin with the verbs we are going to use in the future tense in Somali language. So we are going to use these verbs. The first one is on. On we mean eat in Somali. And the second one we're going to use is iyar. Iyar means to play. And the third one is ab. Ab in Somali means to drink something. And the fourth one we are going to use is adekso or istimal. That means to use something. And the fifth verb we're going to use is firso or dawo, which means to watch something. And the last verb we're going to use is add or tag, which means to go somewhere or to go or to leave. All right. Now, before we start the future tense in Somali language, we have to understand or we have to learn the helping pronouns and pronouns in Somali language. So let's start with the pronouns in Somali language. The first one is aniga. Aniga means I. And the second one is adiga. Adiga means you. The third pronoun in Somali is idinka. Idinka means you plural. Many people in front of you. So you say idinka. Sometimes you may hear adinka. It's just the same. The next one is anaga. Anaga means we in Somali. And the next one is iyaga. Iyaga means they. And the next one is asiga. Asiga means he. And the last pronoun in Somali is iyada. Iyada means she. So now we know the Somali pronouns. Aniga, adiga, idinka, anaga, iyaga, asiga and yada. So 
Let's learn now the helping pronoun is for using future tense in Somali. So for Aniga, we use Wahan as helping pronoun. When I say helping pronoun, that means we use Wahan instead of Aniga because it's just the same meaning. So you don't, so you don't need to use Aniga when you're going to say like, I will eat food or I will leave, something like that. So you will use Wahan instead of Aniga. That's what we, what we mean helping pronouns. For I, Aniga, we use Wahan. Adiga, we use Wahad with D at the end. Idinka, we're going to use Wahad again. Anaga, we use again Wahan. Iyaga, we use Wahay. Asiga, we use Wahu. And Iyada, we use Wahay. So as you see now, we know the helping pronouns. And so we are going to use with some verb. So the first verb we have is on. So we're going to say that verb with helping pronoun, and then we're going to add something at the end. So let's say, Wahan, Uni, Raba, and something you're going to eat. So I'll, so I'll say, Wahan, Uni, Raba, maybe Beris, or something like that. So the main important to know is, Wahan, Uni, Raba. If you say Raba, you're talking about I. Wahan, Uni, Raba. And the most important thing you have to know is when you're going to make a future tense in Somali, the verb has to end at the end with I or vowel I. Un means eat. Uni, that I is making future tense. And Raba is also the future tense and is showing I. So, Wahan Uni Raba for I, I will eat or I am going to eat. Wahad Uni Rabta. You are going to eat, or you will eat. Wahad uni reptin. You are going to eat. Many people reptin. Wahan uni rabna. We are going to eat. Rabna na is showing we. Wahay uni raban. They are going to eat, or they will eat. Raban is showing they. Wuhu uni raba. He is going to eat. Raba uni raba is showing he. And Wahay Uni Rabta, she is going to eat. So Uni Rabta is showing she. So now you feel when you use I, Wahan Uni Raba, and when you use he, Wuhu Uni Raba. It's just the same in the verb marking. Uni Raba, Uni Raba. But the helping pronoun is different. Wahan Uni Raba, I am going to eat or I will eat. Wuhu Uni Raba, he is going to eat. Wuhu and Wahan. And the second one you notice is you. Wahad uni rabta, you are going to eat or you will eat. And she, wahay uni rabta. The verb making is just the same. Uni rabta, uni rabta. But when you're talking you, wahad uni rabta. When you're talking she, wahay uni rabta. Or you can use maybe a name. Aisha wahay uni rabta. Or maybe abdi wahay uni rabta. That's the main idea. Now, a very good point to know is raba or dona. What's the difference between when Somali people say Wahan uni raba bris or maybe Wahan adi dona Somalia or Wahan adi dona Jaramulka, something like that. What's that difference? When you use raba as future tense in Somali, which means a near future. For example, if I say Wahan uni raba bris, I am going to eat rice or I will eat rice. If I say to someone, that means they will understand I'm going to do it right now. Or maybe 10 minutes later or something like that. But if I call to my friend and, and I say like, Hey, Hassan, say hey, uh, or maybe Wahan Tagi Dona Jarmalka, they would say, Hey, hey, inshallah, inshallah. That means when you when you use Dona is long future. All right. So if I say to my friend, Hey, Sahib, say hey, Dona, they will say, Okay, inshallah. But if I say to them, they will say to me, Oh, hey, when? Because Raba is showing near future. Dona is showing long future. That's the main idea. All right, now let's make our first sentence. We're going to say, I, you, we, they, he, she, all of them. Wahan uni Raba Qura. Wahad uni Rabta Qura. Wahad uni reptin qura. Wahan uni rabna qura. 
وحي عوني روان قراع وحو عوني روا قراع وحي عوني ربتا قراع Alright, so what about if you're going to ask questions about future tense in Somali? So that's easy. Start with the noun. We always have the noun at the end of the sentence. Wahan uni raba qura or wahad uni rabta qura. Qura is the noun. Start with the noun, then use the question word, which is ma. So say qura ma, and then you're going to use the future verb, which is uni raba together. If you're going to say you uni rabta, you many people uni rabteen, we uni rabna. And then maybe they, uni raban, he, uni raba, she, uni rabta. So for now, we're going to say, are you going to eat a breakfast? So let's say the noun first, qura. Question word, ma. Qura ma. And then the future verb, uni rabta. So that's easy. Qura ma uni rabta. I think that's easy, wasn't it? So now we're going to make questions and answers using the future tense. And the rule is very simple. The noun first, question word ma, and the future fab. All right, let's make these. Qura ma uni rabta. Hawalal. Anjero ma uni rabta. Maya, marabi. Buskud ma uni rabta. Ha, wan raba. Bris ma uni rabta. Maya basta yan raba. Or you can also say Maya basta raba. So in Somali we use shortened way most of the time. So basto ayan. Add basto plus ayan. So you say basta. So that's like basta raba. Okay, very good point to know in Somali language is when someone asks you a question, it's very good to say only ha or Maya or heye or something like that. So if I say to you, Quran on rabta, I'll say ha. Or maybe Maya, or maybe Marawi, I don't want. So it's not recommended in Somali to say complete sentence or long answer all the time. All right, now let's make some other verbs using the future tense in Somali. Wahan iyari raba kubad. Wahad iyari rabta kubad. Wahad iyari rabteen kubad. Wahan iyari rabna kubad. عرورتا وحي عياري ربان كباد عبدي وحو عياري ربا كباد عاشو وحي عياري ربتا حرك كباد So as you see now, when we use they are going to play football or they are going to play ball in Somali, we say instead of they, we use a noun which is عرورتا عرور means kids عرورتا means the kids so in Somali language, you have to use the helping pronoun also, or even if you use noun before. In English, if you say, the kids are playing football, or the kids will play football, that's okay. But in Somali, if you use the kids, you have to use they. It's like when you, use in, when you translate directly in English, the kids, they will play football. So that's a very good point to know in Somali. If you use also a noun, you have to use the helping pronoun. So, arurta wahi iyari raban kubad. Not arurta iyari raban kubad. All right? And also the other one, which I used a male noun, which is abdi. Abdi wahi iyari raban kubad. I used abdi and I also used the helping pronoun, which is wahi. So, abdi wahi iyari raban kubad. Not abdi iyari raban kubad. And also the last one, عاشو وحي عياري ربتا حريكبود. حريكبود is just the skipping kids play or maybe you play as exercise or gym, something like that. So عاشو وحي عياري ربتا حريكبود. And if you see here, عاشو plus وحي, not only عاشو عياري ربتا حريكبود. You have to use the helping pronoun as well. عاشو وحي عياري ربتا حريكبود. So again, let's make some questions using the future tense. موسى بنون معيار ربتا ها وان عيار ربا or you can only say ها or you can only say مايا ديقو تيفيق مفير سن ربتا عوا ها وان فير سن ربا or you can say وان فير سن ربا only or just ها or maybe 
مايا ولا لها جيم عيار ربان قلبتا ها وي عيار ربان ها موغي بري الصبح عن جيرم عن ربتا ها وان عن ربا اديغاني مايا بريس ايان عن ربا عاو عيار تمداون ربتا اور عاو عيار تمفيرسن ربتا ها وان فيرسن ربا اديغاني مايا مشقول ايان اهي or maya mashqula ahay you can add mashqul plus aya so mashqula mashqula ahay thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel and so if you find this lesson helpful please hit the like button so that we reach more audience than now and subscribe if you're new here see you in the next lesson bye